Welcome back and a very good morning. Market moves on MT4 is up today, 4th of April, 040424, right? Sunrest, welcome back from Canada here. Early morning for you. What are the things you picked up from the closing market potentially in New York? Uh, well, for the uh, for the U.S. Treasuries, uh, it's kind of uh, a roller coaster ride for uh, this week for the U.S. Treasuries. Okay, so on Monday, positive manufacturing data triggered, of course, a sell-off, followed by rallying oil prices on Tuesday. Until now, the oil is still uh, rallying, and concerns about inflation on Wednesday. However, Fed Chair. Um, Powell's reassuring comments brought some stability around the midweek. And today we're seeing treasuries slipping again amidst um, ongoing uncertainties. Okay, so, well, the final say uh, and could also uh, bring a lot of technical breaks would be uh, what could happen uh, for tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow there will be uh, U.S. payrolls, and uh, there will be also U.S. CPA inflation next week, Wednesday. So there could be a lot of things that traders and investors are wait waiting for this week. Yeah, true. We had numbers uh, yesterday. They were, if I'm not totally mistaken, inflationary data was uh, well slightly better, maybe you might say, slightly weaker actually, right? Yeah. So in this regards, but um, then we got the ADP employment change, which had a huge run. And you mentioned the uh, employment data tomorrow. Would you expect as well that uh, potentially the NFP non-farm payrolls will be much higher giving the ADP figures? Well, uh, there could be okay. There could be uh, a better uh, a better rate for the NFP by tomorrow. But um, most of, uh, well, a lot of traders are still waiting for for that to, for that to happen. And um, yeah, we will see what could happen next, uh, tomorrow. Good question. To answer like a politician, I don't know what you wanted to say, basically, yeah. <laughs> because we both don't know as well. Yeah. Yet, uh, you're fully right. The figures have recently been better than expected in a way, right? We saw this is the uh, uh, the actual uh, the forecast on the U.S. non-farm payrolls. And uh, I might say, hey, maybe we see a stronger uh, release and maybe we see also the U.S. dollar returning back, stating that euro dollar weakens the pound weakens, the Aussie weakens, uh, actually in line with a potential trading strategy we run here currently. But uh, you talked about the oil price. That's remarkable because oil has really rocketed uh, kind of higher uh, in Germany. There's the questions yes. like, hey, how much pricier will petrol get? How much higher will the market roll? And if we look at it from this perspective, there is upside, right, Danres? We saw yes. that the market is uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, breaking the high point. So the Canadian dollar usually positively affected. You might know because you're there at the moment, but um, the US dollar might kind of offer some interesting momentum. Let's have a look on the dollar against the Canadian dollar currency pair. Let me check this out here. Uh, the Canadian um, is uh, weakening. Well, the currency pair yes. is weakening. The Canadian dollar is obviously strengthening. Uh, this looks actually kind of quite sweet here if I'm looking at it from this perspective. Yeah. Well, uh, the, as we can see here, the Canadian dollar receives of an unexpected uh, support at the moment with the moving averages, uh, especially with the 50 moving averages. Oh, no, sorry, the 20 moving average. Yeah, 20, Same. 50 20 and well. 50, yes, 20 and 50. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of quite interesting. So the 20 has been broken. That's depending on the charts. I'm not sure which yes. which charts are you looking at daily uh, or sorry. for our uh, for uh, daily. Yeah, so that was yeah. broken here. The simple moving average. There could be some further momentum towards yes. lower levels and um, downside motivation here. So it is kind of quite interesting in the dollar against the Canadian dollar as the market motivation sets in here. Downside momentum, we might say there could be a bit, right? So if the weakness continues, might be a bit too early actually, but uh, if the week closes like this, whoo, there could be yeah. quite a bit of uh, downside motivation here in this market just by the sheer candlestick alone. Is it a bit too early to say, a bit too early to enter? Yeah, because non-farm payrolls might give yeah. the dollar 
uh, a big of a, a bit of a boost and then the US dollar could kind of cause this market to strengthen again. If dollar cat strengthens, uh, well, then there could be some further motivation uh, as well. Let's uh, move towards the euro against the Canadian dollar. Strong push to the upside yesterday. Quite not re um, not expected from, uh, from my side here, but uh, the market is just uh, kicking in from this support area. Maybe that's what could currently holds the market up from falling further. We're about to cross the 50 moving average on the weekly chart. That would be a bit of a sign. However, long term, that's uh, the verdict here. Uh, long term, the market might still uh, uh, start to weaken again based on the recent yeah. resistance area. Any look on the on the euro dollar currency pair for you, Danres? Uh, for the euro dollar currency pair. could be upside above the high, downside below the low, based on monthly charts. And uh, folks, if anyone has a question, please put it in and uh, we'll try to answer, of course, accordingly. There is some uh, market momentum here. So currently technicals point slightly higher, but then is, uh, if you have anything. If not, we can also talk about other currency pairs because, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, uh, as we can see here, uh, on well, I'm looking at the four hour chart. Um, the price is rising above uh, the 20 and 50 moving averages. And um, the I'm actually looking at the Marlin oscillator. It's slightly turning downwards to the uh, to discharge um, before it shows growth on the head. OK, so well, which, which the oscillator is that? Uh, the Marlin oscillator. Don't know that one. I never heard about it. What's that? Marlin. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, the RSI and the, uh, the it's a combination of the RSI and the stochastics. <laughs> mm -hmm, okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. well, this could be a sign of the end of the bullish correction. Um, well, of course, yesterday, uh, the euro showed some growth as trading volumes um, were lower but slightly larger okay um oh. yeah slightly larger compared to monday or tuesday and um if traders wanted to uh, be aggressive on uh, this one they need to i think push the price significantly higher possibly right into the range of 1.0 85 yeah because currently we're trading at 1.084 yeah. yeah yeah true next technical resistance area we have psychological 110 is also actually not quite far depending on which charting pattern yes. we look at so um yeah that's uh, that's for the euro risk sentiment yeah. also is, uh, is positive right unrest we see equities yes. running higher stock markets uh, resuming somehow uh, their momentum based actually on what we talked right so the support area here was holding the market up from falling and we saw with high volatility some motivation of this market to push to the upside but currently, it looks like there could be some further momentum. Uh, let me remove this so to see a bit more. Uh, we can see this market might get a bit of a boost here. However, if we see the market potentially fading, there could be something which is not perfect, like a shoulder head maybe right shoulder formation, but too early to say, depending on how the market goes. So if we see uh, um, a, a strong voluminous uh, momentum to the upside, a strong momentum push here, we could say that the market might continue with the uptrend. If not, there might be times for some profit taking here as the market remains in sideways uh, territory. By the way, we got information in regards to Apple. I had the chart up here early on, Apple basically stating that uh, they, or information uh, was uh, was presented, that they are looking to move towards the robotics field. Remember, they had uh, yeah. scrapped their plans recently in regards to, in February, that was in regards to the car manufacturing. But maybe you have more information in, re in regards to that, uh, Damaris? Actually, I don't have um, more information regarding that, but I can see that well, uh, uh, these tech giants, Apple, Tesla, are actually um, kind of uh, 
gaining a lot of news uh, for this week. So uh, maybe yeah. we can take a yeah, maybe we can take a look at uh, at that that um, in the com- in the coming days, especially by next week. That's a good idea as well. Where it's my oh, I have too many charts here on Tesla. I had Nvidia. Oh yeah, we can take a look because Nvidia has not been uh, not been rising much. I recall I have it here on the chart. Let me um, look for yeah. it now. But uh, yeah, uh, we have. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Nvidia actually um, kind kind of uh, trading in uh, uh, sideways since uh, for for this week it actually gained momentum um, uh, the couple of days. Well, with what happened with Apple and Tesla, and Nvidia is also um, um, on the upside mm. for this. Day. At the moment, we can see some sort of uh, bearish trend, maybe yeah. here. Uh, but once like... it um, re- uh, break the resistance, which is the uh, uh, simple moving average of 20, then we could uh, possibly say that yeah, it's gaining momentum again. That's some good idea, potentially. Yep, 20 moving average marks a strong resistance area. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. So if the market, uh, that's what uh, Dunry said, right? So if we see a push beyond this area, which is where the falling trend line would kick in, this trend line we yeah. marked in here, which by the way, is also quite similarly the 20 moving average area, then that would be where Dunry is 172 roughly, the market could get a boost to the upside. So that could be some, it is some interesting support area. And then further, we could say that this market might uh, remain in this uh, sideways pattern and continues uh, to the upside so it's kind of something cool right so at the bottom buy buy stop at the higher point might work out you mentioned tesla as well what was your verdict there looking kind of quite similar actually charts looking quite similar (laughs) in a way let me push in 20 moving average it would be a bit too low maybe the 20 but yeah. uh, slightly above it would be a similar range here where 174 quite the same price here apple and tesla yeah. currently so would be would be a similar region yeah where the market could get a push uh yeah well the same question is how ambitious are the plans from uh, apple right so far there has not really been uh, a much of information leaking what I read early on this morning uh, was uh, like uh, robots which by the way are supposed to help uh, uh, house owners or households uh, to uh, basically get uh, some work done if that's uh, the correct way but there's not too much information uh, being leaked here. Uh, Something by the way also to do slightly with uh, Taiwan and the earthquake Uh, as we understand Taiwan semiconductor stated that uh, less than a day uh, after at checking the facilities there they have started to resume their work there there have been no uh, injuries as we understand and also obviously no damages to their machinery so uh, kind of quite a big leading factor for apple among other companies obviously kind of from from the taiwanese side uh Thomas, what else do we need to talk about uh gold uh, we mentioned gold, yes. yeah well, gold the price. gold has performed well uh, with it today ahead of the non-farm payroll. Yeah, it is quite high up. It is quite high up. Looking good at the moment. Question is on the weekly, right? How much momentum do we see? Because the market is about to uh, uh, to kind of move even further. I mean, we've seen this in the past. Gold as well as other uh, assets right they can can always yeah. perform until, until the sky is the limit basically but uh, the question is uh, is it time to get out of the trade potentially not but uh, maybe to increase your stop loss a bit uh, and further towards the current market area might make sense in order to protect one's positions uh, from falling prices the market is kind of interestingly trading at the 2400 level quite high up looking uh, looking really positively set uh, in this case uh, what uh, the market price is 
concerned. Silver similarly rocking the show. Also yesterday was another push uh, to the upside looking good. So any uh, traders in silver will be happy. The next uh, resistance areas what we talked about here as well. Yes. Yesterday, uh, this next zone done is there anything you would you like to add for, for silver maybe? Uh, well, uh, same with uh, gold. Um, the trend remains mm -hmm. Uh, good and a friend for uh, most traders because uh, the trend is looking good uh, on the upside and um, yeah yeah because uh, most investors are trading actually uh, are trading actually uh, or seeking uh, refuge to the safe haven gold which actually uh, pulls the silver also higher okay uh, well of course with the geopolitical um, scene remains tense and the uh, uh, sustainability of the equity rally is uh, being questioned right now. Okay, so uh, yeah. gold and silver and actually Bitcoin are are all, all on the up, upside within the week. Yeah, definitely the key story and uh, quite interesting because as we saw that uh, definitely, I mean, oil prices we mentioned, uh, we saw, or we see currently um, stock markets are not fragile. They are kind of quite high up, but uh, when is profit taking kicking in or will there be a correction potentially might be one of the reasons why also gold uh, in particular, as you mentioned, in line of geopolitical yeah. tensions will continue to their price to their upside motivation um upside prices uh cryptos um done rest, so stabilizing a little bit without somehow a push to higher levels uh, that's i think uh, quite um, quite remarkable here uh, bitcoin stabilizing a little bit uh, ether as well and exactly on top of your mentioned level uh, yesterday here well the upside uh, above 3650 you talked about uh, um is still not happening but uh, the market and still for the week we could still flip back to the upside and then we would have uh, a nice potential trend um if, did you look at the ether as well today uh well yeah well ether is actually uh uh having quite uh on a sideway move just like uh bitcoin but um the trend is still looking good Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's for sure. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, well, oh, Japanese yen, kind of quite uh, quite weaker. Well, we saw that the pound uh, against uh, the US dollar is gearing up somehow, but the Japanese yen, pound JP higher, euro JP again higher. So will that call for some further central bank action or some central bank action from the Bank of Japan? Potentially, there is uh, potential chances that there is a uh, motivation here in this market so we shall see yeah. how the pound uh, is going to perform and how the japanese yen is going to perform we can see some signs that currently the, the dollar against the japanese yen is potentially breaking to the upside here so let's see on how the market goes and how much uh, momentum we will expect here in this market environment Andres, that's all i have on my side here i'm not sure i think we mentioned everything right now right questions wise there's nothing yeah should be it yeah i'm not wrong good yeah okay, okay. guys happy trading talk to you soon Andres, thanks for your long hours what time is it now one o'clock no midnight right is it midnight yeah one o'clock actually one one zero four a.m <laughs> yeah okay yeah Good. Uh, have a good rest if you do and uh, talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. Happy trading, everyone. Bye-bye.